the woods are tight all around the farm, come right down to the edge of it. The fields are clean, and my father says the soil is good, as good as any dirt in the world. We get corn and oats and barley and flax and some wheat. Father puts the tractor away and uses Stacker and Jim to pull the disc hair and break the soil down still more. Like Stacker and Jim pulling the stumps when he's clearing the 40 down by the swamp. That's, some, that's something to see, almost not to believe, huh? And how strong they are and how they still let me climb on their legs like trees. Did you see their legs, boy, Father says? Pistons, weren't they? Like pistons on a big engine when they snap like that. Going to the lake starts it off better than it ends. I like that part. Three miles away over a logging road is a small lake called Jenny's Lake because a, gir a girl was supposed to have killed herself when the man she was going to marry died in the war. I don't know which war it was, but it was supposed to be true. Wayne says her ghost walks on the, wa walks on the water in the dark sometimes, but he's never been there in the dark and neither have I, so there's no way to know for sure. down so slowly at first the silver heads began to swing down then faster and faster until they were two silver curves of light two streaks curving down around uncle david so fast they were just a blur coming to the end of the log thunk a clean sound the silver curves went into the log even and the log opened and split where the axes met exactly in the middle with a metal sound Something, more, some power passed from the earth up the silver axis, through the hickory handles. It started in his arms, a little movement. The arms seemed to swell. His shoulders came up and filled, and his back straightened, and his whole body filled until he was standing straight and tall.